We are following a storm alert here on NBC. NBC 26 viewing area, a blizzard warning is the big dog as far as winter warnings, advisories, and watches are concerned. Surrounding the blizzard warning, we have a winter storm warning for the rest of the viewing area. Now, once again, in order to get a blizzard, you need visibilities less than a quarter of a mile and winds gusting to 35 miles per hour or stronger, and that must be continuous for at least three hours and we will meet that criteria later on tonight. We're going to be looking at heavy snow. Some thunder snow is possible. Winds will be gusting 40 to 50 miles per hour, especially after midnight. That's going to produce blizzard conditions. When you add all this together, you should not travel tonight. You should just stay home and batten down the hatches. Here's a look at my forecast. And as you can see, nothing has changed from yesterday. Still anticipating about a foot of snow across the heart of the viewing area, give or take an inch or two, and that's why I'm going 10 to 14 inches. Some locally higher amounts are possible if we can get some of those thunder snowstorms to develop later on tonight into tomorrow morning. It is finally snowing in Green Bay. The camera looks wet because the snowflakes are melting as they hit the lens. The temperature is 33 degrees. Winds are already gusting to 35 miles per hour. In Appleton, we're looking at bursts of moderate to occasionally heavy snow. The temperature has now dropped to 30 degrees. Degrees, so the snow is accumulating quickly. Here's a look at the radar showing that snow moving from south to north throughout the day. Once again, we've been battling some very dry air across Brown County that's been eating away at the snow for the last couple of hours. You kind of see it filling in across the north, but that dry air is shrinking as more moisture streams in from the Gulf of Mexico. You can see showers of the rain and snow variety now developing across Iowa and southern Minnesota. These will become heavy later on this evening and that's when we can start to see some thunder and lightning mixing in and the main part of the storm is still all the way back in Nebraska, Colorado and Kansas and this is an intense storm out ahead of it. We have a tornado watch here for parts of Iowa, Missouri and Nebraska. So here is the storm. It's going to be pulling out of Kansas and then making its way east northeast as we head throughout the night into tomorrow. You can see where the heaviest snow is going to fall based on where we have winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings and once again we do have a blizzard warning for most of the viewing area and that goes into effect later on tonight into tomorrow morning because we will be looking at intense winds northeast winds at around 40 to 50 miles per hour we could see some stronger gusts right near the bay and the lake this storm will be comparable to the one we saw back in december which was also a blizzard in brown county we had four hours of visibilities less than a quarter of a mile and winds gusting between 40 and 55 miles per hour with that particular storm. So with the blizzard headed our way, you can expect heavy snow with some blowing and drifting high winds. Some power outages are possible as that heavier snow kind of sticks to power lines and trees. And of course, very dangerous traveling later on tonight into tomorrow morning. Roads could become impassable, especially in rural areas. Precision cast shows that snow moving through during the overnight hours, the heaviest snow comes in after midnight between, let's say, 2 and about 6 a.m. Snowfall rates could reach 2 to 3 inches per hour, and then the snow starts to taper off as we head into the late morning, but we'll still have the chance for some accumulating snow even as we move into the afternoon. Here's a look at what Precision Cast is showing. By around 1 a.m., already a good 3 to 5, 4 to 6 inches across the area. By 6.30 tomorrow morning, 9 to 10 inches just about everywhere, and then we'll see 10, 12, 13, maybe 14 inches as we head into the afternoon hours. And this is going to be a heavier, wetter snow overall, which means it's going to be very difficult to move around. And just in case you're wondering, do we get these type of snowstorms in spring? Yes, we do. Today is the five day and five year anniversary, excuse me, of the big snowstorm that hit on March 23rd, 2011. We had 18 inches of snow from that snowstorm. So your forecast for tonight calls for heavy snow and high winds. Some thunder snow is possible. Lows will be in the upper 20s tomorrow. Morning heavy snow and windy and then eventually the snow tapers off to light snow and flurries as we move into the afternoon. High temperatures will be around freezing. The sun comes back on Friday. Chance for some light rain or snow on Saturday. There's your Easter bunny on Sunday. Temperatures around 40. Could be a white Easter <laughs> and then we'll see temperatures in the 40s to around 50 as we head into next week, which means a week from now, most of the snow will be history, Megan. Well, at least it won't be long lived, but it'll be a hard night for people who have to drive home still or yes. if they have to go to work tomorrow. Yes. It'll be difficult. If you're at home right now, 
stay home. Yes. If you're at work watching this or you're at a restaurant, get home and then stay home. <laughs> the best advice. <laughs> Do not leave if you don't have to. No, stay home tonight. No doubt right. about it. Thanks, Cameron. Yep. And we'll keep an eye on the storm throughout the show.